Hi everyone, it's Haley, Derby City Naturals, coming to do a very quick review on Kamaza Care Olive Moisture Mask. Here's the product. So I've had this product for quite a long time now. Um, it's about here, so it's about halfway. I've used it ee, at least five to ten times. Um, so just coming to do a review, I think I added it even to the blog without even really doing a review of just conditioners I thought were good. But I realized that I hadn't did a formal review, so I'm as I'm using up my older stuff, wanted to come and give you a review. Okay, enough of the babble. So uh, this review, it, this product is by Kamaza Care, as I stated. They've actually revamped all their products, so this is the old label, but don't be confused. Uh, they just changed their labeling, changed their image, but did not change the products. I initially bought this conditioner because my hair does not like... Um, conditioners with really strong proteins and a lot of masks and things that you see out there will have those strong proteins so that was the number one reason I bought this product so I bought it and I used it and I think it's okay it is not great it is not a fail it's just good you know if I had to give it a grade I'd give it a B it's good um, I have since then used conditioners that I love so it kind of pushes it a little further down but still this is a very it's a solid decent conditioner so it has a pretty, um, uh, very, I'm going to call it a runny consistency, as you can see here. Boop. Yeah, so it comes in a jar. Oh, uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll fix that later. It comes in a jar, but in truth, it could probably come in a bottle and just, I've got some extra, wipe that in and squeeze out. Um, I don't think it needs to come in a jar. So for conditioners that are more wet, uh, as opposed to being buttery and really thick, something that has to come in the drawer that you'd have to scoop out. Um, I, I think it's ju it works just as well as my others. I think I tend to like more of the creamier, more pudding-like conditioners, but that's not always the case. Um, I've used it several times and, and thought it to be good, to be standard. Then recently, Leisha, who is Makeup and Beauty Junkie here on YouTube, you should follow her because she's funny and does lots of reviews, and to who, put up a review saying, hey, she used it and she thought it was okay, but then she steamed with it and she loved it. Now, I normally don't steam my hair very often. I own a hair steamer and don't steam my hair very often. For me, um, if I'm buying a boutique, a quality product, which I don't remember how much this one costs exactly, but I will post it, I just feel that basically if it's more than 5 to $10, I shouldn't have to do anything extra. That's my feeling. So you may feel the same, you may feel different. But if I'm paying more, I just want it to work and work the right way. So um, I was like, I'm not steaming with it. Who wants to do all that extra work? Well, I decided, you know what? Laisha normally knows what she's talking about. Let's go ahead and try it with steaming. And guess what? I liked it better with steaming. Still not love, oh my God, it's so fabulous, but worked a lot better. So my hair, I have it in my hair right now. I steamed with it. I haven't rinsed it out yet. My hair is soft. Um, it feels good. My hair was pretty tangly. I did not detangle it before because I just wanted to go ahead and give that experience. Normally, I do detangle before I deep condition. That's my method. I have, I'll put a little bit of a rinse out conditioner in, detangle, rinse that out, and then go ahead with my deep condition. This time I didn't just so I can give that aspect of the review. So my hair is very soft. I mean, as you can see, it stretched my hair pretty well. It's soft. It's not as tangled as it was, but there's still some in there that um like here it's fine but you see we come across these that i would have to work out uh much more gently without snapping and i'm not going to do that with this conditioner on my head what i can do is add a little bit of oil with this still in which will give it extra slip or um i'm just really going to rinse it under the shower head because i don't feel like being so extra and as the water is coming down i'll detangle and that'll help just the running water enough so but that's just my point. For these waterier conditioners, I expect them to have more slip than a butterier uh, deep conditioner. However, this worked well. My hair feels soft. Um, like I said, it doesn't leave it too coated. It doesn't leave a film or anything like that. I think it'd be okay for a conditioner only wash and go. My only problem with that is normally the, the uh, conditioners, because I'll use deep conditioners for a conditioner only wash and go, meaning I'll put conditioner on, I'll let it sit maybe overnight or just, and then I'll just go, like just go out the door. Here I go. Yes, just like that. However, 
um, with these ones that are more watery, they don't tend to have enough oil or butter in them for me. So what happens is after a few hours of me being on the go, or normally if I'm at work, by lunchtime, my hair is pretty dry because there wasn't an oil or a butter to seal it in. Now I could just grab one and seal it in, but that's my whole thing. I like it just to be complete in the package. That's why I buy it that way. So... Just know that I think that this could get an A grade if we added some additional oils or butters to it, but that's not what it was here for. That's not even what I bought it for. For a deep conditioner when I don't want to use my as, as expensive as fancy deep conditioners, it works well. I give it a B, like I stated before. But if you're looking to amp it up, definitely use it with your steamer. That will amp it up. If you don't have a steamer, let me tell you how you already have one. So take a uh, regular like hand towel that you would, you know, dry your hands on. Um, get it uh, damp with water. So just run water in it and then wring that water out. Roll it up and then stick it in your microwave for about a minute and a half, two minutes. It is going to come out hot. Use enough love or something like that, tongs, to pull it out. Wrap that around your head and then cover your hair with a uh, shower cap. Preferably if you have a vinyl one, those are the ones that are really thick. And that's going to help help hold the heat in and just you know lay around the house with that for about 10 15 20 minutes then take it off you just did a homemade steam treatment and didn't have to spend a hundred dollars on a steamer congrats to you all right so that's my review it gets a b um i'm gonna be doing a full review of it on my blog so look out for that that's derbycitynaturals.com thanks